do this. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here on another episode of Free Beer with Charlie. I'm Big Al, and this is Charlie. Hey everybody, how's our free beer community doing? Everybody have a good week? I bet they did. It was a good week. A little bit of somber week, though. Yeah. You know, it was 9-11. 9-11. Yeah. And, you know, it's hard to believe that. It's so long ago. I know. It seems like just just happened. It's just so fresh in my mind, but... It is. Yeah. And do you remember where you were? Yeah. I was in a Walmart parking lot. Wow. I was, I was on ready a, to go in? Yeah. Yeah, I was on a job site, just getting set up, ready to work. <clears throat> and one of the guys came in and started telling me that. I'm like, what? Seriously? Yeah. yeah. I was floored. It just crazy, crazy times. Yeah. Anyway, we want to give a shout out to all of you all who are uh, first responders or military, police officers. I mean, our heart goes out to you. Thank yeah. you for what you do. I mean, you know, it, it seems like we put a lot of emphasis on Veterans Day. And, you know, some sometimes we wait until Veterans Day. And I think, you know, maybe we ought to do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. My brother's <clears throat> ex-Marine. I know you've got a... Uh, family member. Yeah, in fact, it was a great week for me because uh, my brother, who's a retired lieutenant colonel from the Air Force, he was in town this week, him and his uh, wife, my sister-in-law, and so it was great, you know, you, you forget sometimes what <coughs> sacrifices our country's been through to, to allow us to do the things we get to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. And so, but no, it was a great time, and you know, we can't, we can't thank Denny and Don enough for coming to visit and shout out to them for cool. their service and all they went through because, you know, people forget. It's not only the the spouse that's involved, but it's the whole family. I mean, yeah. you know, that's that's a big sacrifice, and yeah. we appreciate that. So, speaking of uh, patriotic themes, uh, we have a pretty patriotic-looking beer coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Old Glory Pilsner. Yeah, this has a really cool looking flag on it and everything. But the the brewery is actually Martin City Brewery, uh, which is in the Kansas City area. Yeah, like so many craft brewers, you know, they they get to a point where you've done so many years of home brewing, and it's like you know what, I just, I'm ready for something big or something bold or something, you know, and I, I know I'm not the only one, and we know we're not the mm -hmm. only ones, you know, people are looking for something outside the industrial beer. Yeah. And so the owner, um, Matt Moore, and a good friend, they ended up getting together and, and starting the Martin City Brewing Company. Now, they're all about local stuff, too. They, yes. they have kind of a motto. Yes, we live here, we love here, we brew here. That's cool. That's what we love about the craft brewers is it comes down to it. It's an it's an art, it's a love, it's a passion. So this is the beer we've been talking about, Charlie. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just yeah. pull it out and get started with it. Easy old for me. Glory. Look at that old glory pilsner. That's pretty cool. Well, Big Al, you'll have to pull up a picture of this for our You know, it's pretty community. abstract. You can't really, you can, you know it's the flag. Yeah. Even though you can't really make out stars and yeah. stuff. It's just a very good... But, uh, right, and I think that's what's cool about it. This is one that just stands out on a shelf because yeah. Oh, yeah. the colors, I mean, you know, with the, the white and silver can primarily, but then you see those slashes of red and the blue. I just, I think that's wonderful. It stands out, catches your attention. I like the Martin City in red. Yeah. I just, I, I think it's a beautiful label. I think yeah, that's it's very great. nice. It's very patriotic for yeah. it, you know, and that's what I love about stuff like this is it is it makes a statement without even saying anything. Right. You know, yeah. you see and go, I want to try that just because it's got a flag sure. on it. Sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, but as far as American beer, this is actually, they're more into the Belgian style. Yeah, and what I thought was unique is that the many occupiers and invaders that came through the Belgian lands, basically they their attitude is they took what they wanted and what they didn't want, they just left out. Yeah, so every group that came in and occupied Belgium, they were like, had a different style to their beer. Right. And, and some of those they adopted as Belgian beer, and the Belgians dropped some of it. Right. We'll take what we like from over here, take what we like from over there, and what we don't like, we'll leave out. And really, that's craft beer. Right. It's an experiment. So I think it's time for uh, our favorite, our, our very favorite our part favorite of the show. Part. <laughs> and, and you know this, we hate to be the dead horse, but it's so intriguing yeah. to us because it annoys our producer so much for us to drink beer and yes. have to get yeah. to. So, <laughs> it's just a plus. Yeah, it's just a plus. Let's just crack this open and see what we can get going here. Ooh, I got a little dribble on the back side there. All right. The only thing I can say, literally out of the can, is that it's only 12 ounces. Yeah, well, well you, you can know. get everything right. Ooh, it's got a little, uh, you know, when I was a kid, we had to haul hay. Yeah. That's not fun. No. Of course, once I was old enough to leave home, my dad got a big red bell and everything was done oh. with tractors. Yeah. But we had hay bales. Yeah. And when those hay bales sat in the barn, 
for very long and got wet, they got moldy. That's, that's, that's what this smells like now. And if you haven't ever baled hay, let me tell you, that's a part of your childhood you missed out on. Yeah. I used to come home, I'd wear, I, I listened to the old school guys. I mean, 200 degrees out in the shade and they got long sleeve flannel shirts on long pants. And yeah. You know, I'm dummy out there the first time, shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I learned I never that's did mistake. that again. Yeah, that's mistake. And still, wear long sleeve shirts, long pants. Man, I'd come home and that's, it looked like that's I got straw attacked. That's you oh, all yeah. over. Bleeding everywhere. Itches all night long. Charlie yeah. horses. Oh, gosh. Or Charles horses. Charles horses, Whatever yeah. they are. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, what do you think on that on our scale? Oh, you know, that's probably a negative one. I, yeah, definitely yeah. a negative one. It's definitely moldy hay. I hope it doesn't taste like that. Oh, I pray it doesn't taste like that. Let's give it a shot. Nothing like that. No, nothing that's at good. all. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. My gosh, it's, it's clean and it's crisp. Mm -hmm. Do we know what the alcohol content on this is? Um, this is just running typical, what we call typical lager. It's 5% by volume. So Big Al, what do you think on our categories? What do we class it as? Oh, I mean, it's refreshing for sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's fresher. And I think it's a guzzler. Yeah. I can drink a big old mug of that. Man, if uh, that's, a, that's a good beer and it's good. Mm -hmm. It's got a little haze to it, but yeah, it's not crisp, crystal clear. clean. Nice. And uh, I think it's it's got enough of uh, of a little bitterness on the back side mm -hmm. that it, it, it makes me want another one. I mean, I we could chug this one easy. You know, I think a lot of companies make them that way. It's like, uh, let's make it good enough, but at the end, they got to have another one. So what do you think on our bitter to sweet? Probably a one, like a typical yeah, lager. I think it's typ typical yeah. lager. But, Not very sweet. So what do you think overall on that? I think it's probably a three. I mean, it's a good drinker. Yeah. But it's not really a wow beer. No, it's not. But it, it's, it is a touch above a typical lager. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's got a little extra flavor, and it does that crispness, that cleanness at the end. It does make me want another one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... We have like, more, don't we? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, we're definitely going to get I think some. everybody needs to get this and try it out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if all else fails, I mean... Um, you bought something that says Old Glory. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, if that's <laughs> not, I mean, I know it's not Veterans Day. It's not the 4th of July. It doesn't have but, to be, but, you know? Um, this is a, it's a good, clean beer, and I, I think our free beer community would definitely like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, Big Al. Charlie. Here's the God Guns and Rock and Roll. Hey, man. Oh, that's oh yeah. That is good. We'll have to crack another one open. Definitely. It's good and clean. And so don't nice. forget, I'm Big Al. I'm Charlie. Till next time. So, three, two, one. All right! How are you? <laughs> you got all excited. And what's their tagline for Martin City? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, all right! Let's do this. <laughs> That's... I, this is one of those, this is one of those that, it's, it's like, well, I was going, it's like, it's one of those that, it, I'm, I'm, sh I'm shocked because it's like, he's got that, we're rolling look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just laid back here, like, yeah.